Hi, this is Christina Presnell, and I'm going to walk you through very quickly the setup for the um, Kaleidoscope Scarf. This is a kerchief style scarf, meaning a triangular front that wraps around the neck a couple of times. Named after this gorgeous colorway, Kaleidoscope from Claudia Hand Painted Yarns that it's made with. It was just an array of color, but a perfect way to show off multicolored hand painted sock yarns, beautiful yarns that you come across. A lot of times they're sold in a 100 gram. Um, 350 to, to 400 yard skein and you don't know what you want to do with it but it's absolutely beautiful you want to touch it you want to take it home and and that's what you end up doing <laughs> happens to me oh every once in a while uh, but um anyway this is an idea the scarf is beautiful we we love the twisted drop stitch that uses and i'm going to take you through a demonstration of that very quickly to help you get started with this scarf um the patterns found on the knitting lodge resource center along with this video which will live there if you need to watch it a couple of more times i've started one here and to start the scarf you simply cast on three stitches it doesn't matter which cast on you use whatever you're familiar with go ahead and cast those on according to the pattern we're going to knit the first half of the scarf um, in this combination of garter stitch with increases and the twisted drop stitch. And the way that works is we simply knit the first row. The second row, we increase. Um, I've marked row one or the side with the first side with row one and row three to remember to just knit across. The action takes, takes um, place on the back. So we'll increase on the back in that second row with simple front to back increase. And then we'll knit back across on the third row which brings us to our twisted drop stitch row in the scarf. Um, and we're going to pick up as if to knit. You ready to get started? Okay, here we go. We're going to pick up as if to knit. And instead of wrapping our first needle, we're going to wrap both needles and then the first needle and then knit it through. So let me take you through that again. We're going to pick up as if to knit and you'll need to just grab this with your thumb right here pinch it wrap both wrap the first and knit it through one more time there pick up as if to knit pinch with your thumb wrap both wrap one knit it through wrap both Wrap one, knit it through. I'm just going to walk you across this row. Knit it, or pick up as if to knit. Pinch with your thumb and forefinger of your right hand. Um, wrap both, wrap one, and pull it through. I'm knitting this continental. If you're knitting English, that's fine. Um, you can use the same technique. You would just pick it up as if to knit. Um, cross around both, both stitches, or both needles back around the first needle and knit it through. This is giving you a nice long stitch. See that? That's fun. And this, um, this is a very fun stitch. And this scarf gives you lots of practice. So by the time you reach the center and you're ready to change um, 50 gram skeins or you want, you're at the center of your 100 gram ball, um, then you will begin to decrease your way back down. Um, to the point. If you're true about your halfway point and your stitches are consistent, you should come out just right. Um, not to say that there's never flaws in a, in, a, in a skein of yarn, but if you're careful, you can make it work and it will look great and it will look fabulous and everybody will want to know where you got such an awesome scarf. So there you have it, one row of twisted drop stitches. And then we'll simply knit back across and I'll take you through the increase row quickly. As well for those of you that would like to learn the front and back increase one two three this should have given me um, I started with ten I should end up with ten indeed I did awesome so that was my knit back or across row and I know that um, because it's the first row of the repeat but it's also got my marker so I know that that's just simply knit and then back on the other side, if there's no marker, that means I need to do something. So I'm either doing an increased row or a twisted drop stitch row. 
This has very quickly become one of our favorite patterns here at the Knitting Lodge. And we also have a drop stitch, a twisted drop stitch scarf, straight scarf called um, Twist and Drop Your Garter, which is a very similar pattern. All right, so on this row, we're going to knit across per the pattern instructions to, until there's three stitches left on my needle. So in this case, I'll be knitting the first seven stitches and then stopping. Don't let that confuse you. Whatever row you're on, you knit until you have three stitches left. And now here we are with three on our needle. We're gonna knit through the front side of the stitch, but not slide it off the needle. Instead, go around to the back of the stitch with your needle and knit it through the back side. So you've now knit that stitch twice, once through the back of, or once to the front and once to the back. And then you slide them off the needle together. So where there were three stitches left, now there's four, see? And then you knit the last two stitches across. And that is how you begin the um, twisted drop stitch, or I'm sorry, the kaleidoscope scarf. Um, that's how you do the twisted drop stitch. And then once you get to the center of the scarf, this um, front and back increase will just be replaced with a knit two together. So if you have any questions about doing this project at all, um, feel free to reach out to me on Google Plus or via email. Either way, um, I'm happy to help. And we hope to see you again. Thank you so much.